Hey guys, this is Konstantin Ganchev, and I'm back with another pencil video. I see that it's been a very, very long time since I've last uploaded, and I thought about making this video just to make up for all that lost time where I never put out any video. Um, by doing several pencils at once in this video, which will be the uh, Zebra Delgard series of pencils, all of them, as far as I know. I checked Jet Pens earlier today, and I uh, didn't didn't see anything there, so I'm going to assume that this is all of them since I myself have done quite a bit of looking to uh, find these pencils. But anyway, sorry for the wait. This is actually going to be a little bit more of an informal video because normally I have some talking points and have some things at least uh, sort of scripted out to say, but this time I'm just going to be going pretty much off the top of my head. It is summer. I've been out of school for a few months and... I haven't been really using my pencils as much, but I have used these throughout all of college. The original Delgard model was also in my arsenal uh, in my final years of high school. So I'm kind of excited to make this video because we're going to be covering a lot. But again, sorry for the wait and sorry for the informality. But okay, so here we go. We're going to start off with the first... Uh, pencil of the series, the original uh, Delgard. I don't think this one has a model name, the other ones do, but I could be wrong again. I didn't go back and check the website information. I have some of their boxes here with me to kind of reference, but I'll just keep those to the side for now. Uh, I just wanted to make this video just to point out some small things. Um, there are plenty of other reviewers out there who do a good job of covering the features of the models. Um, they like to focus in on what they're marketed towards and like to cover all those points. But I'm just going to give you some of the in intricacies that can be found once you've already started to use them for a while. Because that's kind of what we're all shopping for, right? Nobody goes out to spend tens of dollars on a pencil besides people who are really into it. And those people who are really into it tend to find some fun in the small things. So, I have to apologize, I don't have a massive setup or anything like that, it's all very, very basic, so my depth of field here is uh, really, really crap. But anyway, these are the models, this is the original, this is the, what is this one, the ER model I believe, this one's the LX, I know for sure, this is, I assume for luxury, and then this is the GR model, I'm gonna have to check back on this one, although I, 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 Ironically enough, use this one for the longest. I should remember its model name. But anyway, these are the ones we'll be covering. Sorry. And I'll try to keep this video relatively short. But let's start off with the original here. I don't know what that is. Uh, original model. I actually like this pencil very, very much. I once, I once I found out about this, I bought it as soon as I could. And I was so glad to have it in my arsenal. I actually got this pencil at the same time that I got my Unikiratoga uh, Roulette model pencil. And I enjoy this one far more. Some of the cool things about this pencil, uh, of course you know, but in case you don't, I'll explain it. These pencils have a feature uh, that protect the lead from breaking. It uses a, a, mechan a spring mechanism along with kind of a wedge to help it prevent snapping, which is um, this part right here. As you can see, I'm going to push my nail under it, and hopefully the camera will focus. So you can kind of see I pull this section out a little bit whenever you're writing. If there's pressure applied, it'll slip out like that on the paper. And when sorry, let me let it, and when it slips out, sorry, you see how it covers the lead? It prevents it it essentially minimizes the amount of surface area that's exposed to the air, and it basically just covers up the lead and allows it to be more resistant to breaking. Kind of works like this. I'll zoom in a little bit to show you guys. Um, let's see here. Hopefully. There we go. Sorry, my thumb is kind of in the way. Again, <laughs> didn't really anticipate this. I felt like putting this out there. I kind of owe it to you guys. I've been really lazy. But this is what it looks like, basically. It goes ahead and blocks from breaking. See, even if you put it a little bit more horizontally, it still goes out. It does its job pretty well. And that's basically the main feature. Also, it does have a spring mechanism. So let me extend it out just a little bit more. And so basically, gosh, I really didn't plan for this. But uh, let me see here. Basically... It also goes down and it protects it. I can just show you with my nail. Oh my goodness. 
sorry again. just goes in like that so th that's the second way that it protects the lead <laughs> man <laughs> i'm gonna be laughing at this when i see it um so this is the first one it has a solid body i really like it even though it's all plastic except for this little metal cap here it's all plastic it feels very solid and sturdy uh unscrewing it is pretty easy no part of it is squeaking um, the only noise you'll get is from the uh, clip here, which is actually a pretty nice clip. I enjoy it. Solid pencil. The the grip section is a good closeness to the tip, so it's easy to manipulate the pencil. I really like it. And basically, it's just your average mechanical pencil, uh, save the special mechanism that they put here. Uh, plastic, but it's very light, and it feels solid, and uh, it's a great pencil. I, I, I love what they did with it. As soon as I found out about the second model, however... I eagerly purchased them. So let's start off with the one that I happen to use the most, which is the rubber grip pencil. And this has the same feature as the first one. They all have the same feature. They're the Delgard series. Uh, they guard the lead. That's, that's the thing. Um, this pencil is pretty nice. I say pretty nice because I like the rubber grip. It's nice. It's not too wide and allows you to hold it comfortably, you know. This is the way I hold it. Anybody who's curious, this is the way how I write. It might be a little weird, but that's just me. And the body is also plastic on this. Now, what's cool about this pencil is, in addition to this tip portion, the guard portion, there is also a feature with the eraser. And the way that works is, it's pretty much, I'm going to say gravity powered, but it's not really powered by anything. What happens is, when you flip the pencil down, the eraser extends, and then it doesn't allow you to push it in. See, I'm pushing, but the eraser doesn't retract. The The eraser body wants to, uh, and I mean the whole mechanism wants to. But again, once you flip it up, it falls back inside. Pull it down. Falls down. Flip it up. It retracts. So essentially what this allows you to do is just flip the pencil over, when you want to erase and it automatically pops out and you can automatically do some erasing um, I've, re I've really used up this eraser there's not there's not much left here, I'm gonna try to hold it up to the light there's like there's like nothing left in here it's all it's all gone completely flat right there but it allows you to erase and when, while you're putting pressure on it it doesn't retract so that's the saving feature of it also it has a little bump here that tries to prevent it from rolling uh, this does not do a good job. If you're working on a desk, this thing will slip off uh, a number of times, so this thing doesn't do a very good job. Body width is good. The only thing I don't like, and this is the thing that put me off, was that this grip section is a little bit farther back from the tip, which makes it a little bit less comfortable to write with, and it makes it harder to manipulate the pencil. And you might be thinking, you know, it's not really a big deal. You know, it's not it's not a big deal how far the, the grip is away. But let's let's imagine an extreme scenario here. Let's take the same pencil. Imagine you were writing like this. Imagine you're writing like this. All of a sudden, you're increasing this length by a tremendous amount, and any action you have at your fingers will be exaggerated by the time it comes to the tip. See how much it's shaking at the tip, for example? That's just my fingers. But if you hold it closer to the tip, it becomes more stable. This might be a bad example because my hand is still going to be shaking regardless, but your your actions become more precise. This video is already getting long. I'm going to speed this up. Next is the LX. This is uh, just like the original model, except it is made of metal, so now it is more durable. Hooray, right? Same clip and everything, same... Well, oh, sorry, not the clip. The clip is metal. I meant the, um, the eraser cap, uh, fundamentally. Metal here, plastic on the end. Um, this is a great pencil. This, is, this does everything that the original model does, except it's metal, and it's great. But out of all the pencils here, I found that I placed my finger way farther back where the tip is, around this point right here. And that's a, that's a lot of that's a lot of distance. That's a lot of distance. Compare that to the original model where I feel comfortable holding it here. You guys can determine how far away you like it and whatnot, but that's where I found myself. So 
I almost never use this pencil just because it, my hand was placed so far back when I was writing. Other than that, great pencil, still same feature, uh, the guard, nothing special with the eraser, it's just a basic eraser, um, real basic, it's got Japan written on it, that's, the, that's where the good shit is, uh, and yeah, so we're three down, one to go, I figured out about this one really late, the GR model, I actually uh, just found this one just a while before the summer of 2019 started here, um, this is just a very, very, very large rubber grip. Now, some of you may really like this. Uh, I'm not one for big grips or big rubber grips. I like knurled pencils. I, uh, I experimented this one with the remainder of the school year. I used this for my finals. Eh, it was fine. Nothing special. Same eraser. This one has a black eraser in comparison to some of the other ones. A very, very large round body. I'm not especially fond of the large diameter bodies. I think that, I don't know, they're just not for me. But obviously, if you have bigger hands, you're probably going to enjoy one of these more. But I'm just only speculating here. It's not for me, but you guys might find it. Uh, that's why they probably made it. There's probably some marker for people with big hands like this. Um, that being said, this grip is very grippy. Uh, a lot more grippy than this model. The, uh, what was this? ER model? ER. I think this was the ER. This also has a rubber grip, like talked about previously, but this one is much thicker and much grippier. Not bad. Also, you can hold it a little bit closer to the tip, too, which makes it easier to write. The only thing that's kind of weird is closer to the tip here. This is a very, very thick, thick portion, which isn't too bad. Uh, again, same guard feature here. You can. I like to wedge my finger in here to see how it is. I'm not sure whether this tip is made out of metal or plastic on any of them. I, mean, I apologize for not being able to provide that information. Again, I just kind of wanted to push this video out, get me motivated to keep giving you guys some more pencil videos. I hope you're um, enjoying them somewhat. I want to provide the minute details that not everybody's going to be able to cover. Um, I love this series. This is a fantastic series. I think my dream pencil would be maybe this, the the LX series with this metal section scooted up just a little bit closer. There is no need. There is no need for this barrel section over here, over here, to be this long. I think this is just completely unnecessary. I know it looks good. I know you can see the spring. You can see the mechanism and everything. That little orange ring. It, it, it all looks good, but looks is only part of it. And if it's not, you know, if it doesn't feel right in the hand, Nobody's going to write with it. It doesn't matter if it's made out of metal or whatnot. It doesn't matter if it's going to last 20 generations. Nobody's going to write with it if, it's, if it just doesn't feel right. And I'm the type of person who really, really values the distance between the tip and, uh, I'm going to call it the grip. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. The the Zebra, Zebra, I'm sorry. Yeah, the Zebra Delgard series. I was surprised when Zebra made this. I, I've used some old Zebra pencils in the past. My dad had a lot of them. That's Partially what got me started in the hobby in the first place. But they were all really basic. Nothing nothing fun. These these brought the fun out. These these have the that that special trait. These things are are, are fun to write with. Um, I've never had the guard feature fail or not or not work. Obviously if you write too horizontally, you know, the guard feature is not perfect. But it's it's miraculous the way it works. It's fantastic. It's a great innovation. I'm honestly surprised more companies didn't think of something like this in the past. Um, great feature. But there are some other pencils out there with what I believe are even better features. And I can't wait to cover some of these pencils. Um, actually, let me give you guys a sneak peek of some of the pencils that I have in my collection here. You guys will get to see the the tips only, or rather their top sections, so you guys can maybe make the call. Again, I'm just going to, hold up, I'm going to flip this so you guys can see. There they are. Some some stuff over here. This one's less um, special writing pencil. It's just, it's, just, it's just cool. It's just a cool pencil. Um, but yeah, and there's more coming. I've ordered some more, so I can't wait to make some more videos. Those will be a little bit more formal, less lacking in information. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. I uh, hope you found something um, unique in the information that I gave you. Again, I don't really want to go over too much of the 
features and whatnot. I just kind of want to get straight to the point. The biggest problem with these pencils, in my opinion, is how far away the grip is from the tip. Other than that, uh, the materials, you know, plastic is okay. Plastic is light, which is nice. But, you know, metal's not going to get broken if you step on it accidentally. But uh, something like this uh, will. Zebra did a fantastic job with these. Uh, props to them. They've had these for a while now. And um, thank you for watching. Hope I uh, can come out with another video pretty soon. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one. Uh, hello again, guys. One more thing. Uh, being the genius that I am, I forgot to talk about two things that actually bugged me a little bit about the ER model and the GR model. Uh, they just escaped my mind during this, this last portion here, but I'm going to quickly cover them. No 10 minute long video. Uh, the ER model, this part that I talked about, the gravity eraser, uh, and the whole pen the pencil as a whole rattles like crazy. Uh, that is not a good noise. Also, it uh, it has play. It has play in it even when the eraser is not extended. Uh, get on that zebra. Nah, I'm just kidding. And the GR. I already talked about the grip decent grip very sticky and that's where the that's where this part comes in it is in fact so grippy that it attracts a lot of dust you can already see some dust on there uh, i dropped this once in a lab in a laboratory and it picked up so much disgusting crap off the ground that i didn't even use it for the rest of that period i threw it in my bag and when i got back home I had to clean it with some soap and water, which works fantastically. It got rid of all the material, and um, I just I was a lot more careful with it after that. This thing will pick up a lot of dust, um, plenty of stuff. I that's just how they made it. It's a good rubber though, good good grip, or silicone. I have no idea what they used to make this. Anyway, thanks again for watching. See ya.